Good day, my dear viewers and students at home. I am your music teacher, Albert Marcel. And today, I'm going to take you on the topic, musical skill. At the end of this topic, you are expected to know the definition of a scale, state the two kinds of scale, then describe in an elaborate way the meaning of their tonic and chromatic scale. Looking at the, the above illustration on the board, you can see a ladder and a musical keyboard, although drawn on the uh, whiteboard. This ladder, as you can see, is numbered from one to four. It is to explain to you the meaning of musical scale. You ascend, as you ascend the ladder, you are either ascending or descending in the placed ladder. Meaning that musical scale deals with moving from the lower key to the what? Higher key or from the higher key to the lower key in a music. Then, as illustrated with um, the keyboard, you see it moving from key C to key C. Meaning that this music started from what? The home key, which is C, and then moved to its octave. You know when we discussed um, the home, uh, the notes of a scale, we talked about the tonic, which is the first one. We talked about the leading note, which is the seventh note. We talked about the octave, which is the last one, but the repetition of the words of the tonic scale. Then let's go over to the definition definition of a scale. Scale has been defined as a ladder of notes. Ladder in reference to this, moving upward or downward in a stepwise manner from any note to its octave. This is just telling us about what we illustrated here. That is moving from the word leading notes. It's moving from the tonic to the word octave. It is moving from either here to here or from here to here. That is what we explain as what musical scale. It is also defined as a series of notes arranged in alphabetical order. In alphabetical order. It is either from A to A or from B to B or from C to C. It can't be from A to E. Meaning that it must be from the tonic to the word octave and not from the tonic to the leading note or any other note of the scale. Arranged in alphabetical order, either upwards, that is ascending or downward descending from any note it is, it is to the word octave. We have many kinds of scale, but for your level now, we are going to touch on the diatonic scale and the chromatic scale. Like I said earlier, these are not the two types of scale, but for your stage now as a just one student, you are supposed to know and explain and give more, more explanation on them, uh, their tonic scale and their chromatic scale. Their, mat, their tonic scale consists of eight lettered names. The eighth one is the repetition of the first one, like I said earlier. It consists of eight letters. Let me demonstrate it with the sulfur. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. You see that this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this do is being repeated here in the octave, but in the higher, in the, it is higher than the first one. Like do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. It is the repetition of the first one, but in a, in the high, in the highest tone. That is. Assuming if I'm representing it with A, it will be A from the A, it will be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know, we don't have key H. We will, we will go back to what? Key A, which is what? From A to what? A. I hope you get me from A to what? A, from the um, tonic to the word octave. That is what it means. It is like example here, you can see from C to C. The notes degrees of the diatonic scale are arranged in tones and semitones and all together have five tones and what? 
two semitones. Like I was saying, the dramatic scale, this is the representation of the dramatic scale. Like you can see, I told you that the dramatic scale comprises of five tones with two semitones. And that the tones are five. The semitones are found in between the third and the fourth note and what the eighth and the seventh note. Let's follow me. Let's go up. You see that C is here. D, E, F, G, A. Remember, we don't have key H. But what? Key A. Once you reach G, you go to A. A, B, C. So, you see that this C, D is the tonic and the second note. Then the third and the fourth in between this third and fourth, you are going to see the same tone. Here. This is the same tone. Then you have tone, 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 and in between the seventh and the eighth note, you find another semitone. So the you can say you can remember it by saying tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. It comprises of all these notes. And these notes are made up of these tones and semitones. So this is also what I have already told you. The major scale of the matic scale include the tonic notes and the positions of the semitones. All the matic major scale use do. Do you understand me? Like what I said in the beginning of the lesson. When I told you, I will give an illustration using the musical sulfur. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. All the matic major scale uses this do. Which octave is what? The higher do. Okay. The semitones are found between the third and the fourth, and seventh and eighth as already stated. Then the second one, remember we said we have two kinds which is the dramatic scale and the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale moves in semitones. This one moves mainly in what? Semitones. And it contains 13 notes, including all the degrees of the semitones. This one comprises both, of, both the white notes and the what? Black notes. Like, you know, here is supposed to be the black notes. And here... Because this is supposed to be the shaded keyboard. You see the black note and the white note. So this one is the black note. It's this um, chromatic scale comprised of both this and this. Meaning that you now play, you can now count it with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Once this pandemic is over and you are back to school, we will do an elaborate explanation of this chromatic scale with the use of piano or melodeon for you to understand more. But the only thing you have to know in this chromatic scale that it is comprising of 13 notes, including all the degrees of the semitone. Now, my dearest students, for your take-home assignment, as you study more, I want you to jot down this assignment and you submit it to me i want you to give me the definition of the mere the scale with your own word and not in your own sentence your own understanding i want you to define for me this scale not the way i have defined it but in your own understanding then secondly i want you to give me the major scales we discussed today in an elaborate, in an elaborate way Thank you and stay safe at home.